Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are finally checking out the Spirit Mod. It has been a minute since I've done anything with the Spirit Mod. And I remember the days when I was watching the Spirit Mod in development. Those were those were some good days. I remember when the, when the Spirit Mod developer gave me the beta so I can make videos and stuff on it. Those were the days. So it's about time I come back and check out a bunch of stuff I miss. Especially with another giant update that just came out for the Spirit Mod. Now, there was a big, big update that came out earlier, and then here comes another big update that I'm checking out now. So, we're going to be checking out the content from the most recent big update, and I do plan to do a playthrough of this in the future. You know, I gave people a chance to choose what they wanted to see, and everyone voted for the clicker class, and the spirit mod, and the mod of redemption was also on that list. So, for people that are like, how come you're not doing a playthrough now? Well, there's the reason. Most people wanted the clicker class. Are you happy? But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get started. We're going to go over a good couple of changes in in this update we're not gonna go over every little single thing we're just, i'm gonna go over the things that i consider exciting and that i want to see starting with all the boss updates all right so the first boss that we're going over here is a boss that you guys might know very infamous boss oh look there's some goodies over there from the spirit mod I'd like to see it but yeah this is an infamous boss if you guys have ever watched my wheel of terraria series you know that series i spun a wheel did challenges on the wheel and we usually ran into scarabus the first boss we're gonna check out here now scarabus has been completely overhauled but let's check it out i'm excited to see okay definitely looks a lot more beautiful than it did before not saying that it didn't look that good in the past as we can hear the music is bumping hopefully it's not louder than me but yeah scarab is a lot cooler looking uh definitely more of a scarab look than before i don't know honestly i don't really stare at scarabs too often but yeah as we see some of his attack he's doing a little ground pound he's doing a little sand eruption attack whatever the hell you want to call that is digging underground let me go ahead and do a little bit of damage here let's get it to like half health to see if it does a new attack or anything okay it's shooting sand around it rolls up into a ball it's got a lot of attacks you like to see that from terrier bosses you like to have a variety of attacks so you're not just dodging the same pattern over and over again let's go ahead let's kill it there we go now that whole entire fight is different and the fight is meant to be fought around the eye of cthulhu area and then it also you know has this expert changes like most bosses do in expert but it does drop a bunch of new stuff and uh we'll, we'll check out a couple of the new things i don't want to check out everything for example we got the scare pendant which is the expert drop oh look at that beautiful got a little ball it does damage too you love to see it this is a very unique mount uh it has this new mage weapon sunrise scepter shoots an orb that you can control very cool so we got the bow the sword and the summon weapon it all drops pretty much drops everything for every class uh, the bow what the heck is this so it's like a charge up and then it shoots out nice that's really cool we got the royal kopesh the last hit in the combo is bigger does more damage ignores armor very nice Ooh. and then we got the locust crook conjures a friendly locust that dashes into enemies locust infest hit enemies causing baby locust to hatch from beautiful he dashed somewhere i don't even know where he went can you kill this guy right here the assassin this dude's invisible that's pretty cool i don't where, where did he go what are you fighting oh he's fighting a new enemy look at that this is one of the new enemies added in the pokey we'll go over them a little bit more later on a little bit more organized too we'll go over all of them at once uh but yeah cool new changes for scarabus even the armor set that you're supposed to make out of the uh, scarabus drops has been revamped too uh it also looks a lot cooler of course but yeah on to the next boss the vine wraith bane all right so let us enter into the briar here i believe is the name of this biome and as you can see it looks really cool in the past you know i thought this place was already pretty cool didn't really seem like too much point to it in the past but now it's a lot more ambient it gets darker it starts raining well actually i don't know maybe the rain just happened at the same time i came over here but yeah we gotta go down here as you can see there's a very big underground uh compared to the past where i'm pretty sure it was just like up to here and then that's it there wasn't much to it but now there's a huge underground and let's check it out the music's also bumping you love to hear it. But yeah, look at this. So we got loot and stuff scattered around here, but that's not what we're here to see. We're here to see the Vine Wrath Bane, which from what I've been told, the whole boss has been overhauled, like from scratch. So let's go, let's go to this area. This area seems like it would probably be the nice area or the best area to fight it. I don't know. Disturbing this flower surely isn't a good idea. Oh, well, there you go. I summoned him in. <laughs> so yeah, this fight is completely different. So let me see. Let me see some attacks. We got this little needle attack. Okay, okay. 
I'm dodging it like I'm not in god mode. Shoots out these little purple things, the projectiles that you gotta dodge. So apparently the, the old fight, a lot of the projectiles and like attacks were hard to see coming, stuff like that. And that's never usually fun with a boss fight. You wanna be able to at least be able to read and learn from the boss. That way, you know, you learn the attacks, you can dodge the attacks, much how most boss fights go in video games. And so far, yeah, it's looking like you can read and react to these attacks. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, so we had to kill it fully for the second phase. So let's see second phase, shoots out little uh, plantera type balls, you know, the ones that plantera shoots and they bounce around, aka the reason why you gotta make like a very long arena so they bounce at the bottom and don't bother you but it still does the dash attack a little bit faster maybe shorter dash attack i don't know i can't really tell let's do some more damage is there a third phase and when i say third phase oh bramble shall consume you now it's talking shit you gotta love when bosses talk shit now it's leaving like poison clouds around or wherever the hell this is it's leaving that around when it dashes very cool i believe that's it though is that a radiation barrel down there i gotta check i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot it and see it was indeed an explosive barrel, not radiation one. But yeah, another cool boss. On to the next one. All right, we are over here at the asteroid field. Oh, ooh, this music is bumping, bro. I haven't heard much music from the mod, but just from like these little tracks that I'm hearing, this is bumping. So yeah, we gotta find this thing right here. This thing is where we spawn in the next boss, which is the Starplay Voyager, which this boss had its first phase touched up a little bit, and it just had, you know, improved movement, better visuals of the boss, the usual touch up when you want to overhaul a boss well i guess there's overhaul and then there's like complete like redoing and remaking but this one this one just got a couple of touch-ups uh the sprite looks beautiful compared to the past i don't want to you know offend anyone who made the previous sprites when i originally played the mod but all the newer sprites have looked nothing but beautiful amazing i love them yeah as you can see it's a worm boss they try to make it a little bit more unique uh, by fighting it up here in space, have it move around in a little weirder of a pattern. Because that's always something tough to do with uh, worm bosses in Terraria. Is, uh, make them unique, but they've done good so far. But yeah, let's go ahead, let's see a second phase, even though I know they only touched the first phase. We might as well see a second phase. Okay, it gets a little crazy. It gets a little crazy. Looks like I might have to learn some patterns here in the future, once we get around to playing this mod. So is this him now? He just becomes like a little head now? Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, there you go. Boss is dead. Really cool. I love just this biome. This biome is so unique. On to the next two bosses, which are our hard mode bosses that got touched up. This music so bumping. I could just sit here and listen to this. All right, let's start with the boss here that had nothing but just a re-sprite done to it. And that is one of my favorite bosses from the mod. Favorite looking, and now I'm excited to see what it looks like even more. And that's Infernon, oh my god. Definitely looks like something you would find in hell. I, I even liked its old sprites, if I'm being honest. Infernon was one of my favorite looking bosses from the mod from a long time ago, even when I did the beta. But this definitely looks cool. He's got his own little platform he stands on. And he just definitely looks a lot more menacing. Last but not least the snowmonger now me and snowmonger have some history back when this mod was being created being developed early on you know they had something open where you could donate and get items in and stuff like that you know how dorium and other mods do it where you donate to them to help them out and you get an item in the mod now that's what i did and i said hey the frost legion should get a boss or something and then boom they made a boss it looked completely different in the past i'll put pictures on the screen and then they changed it again to what it currently is which is the snowmonger speak about snowmen who uh let my man out of the basement here we, we gotta throw him back in but yeah long story short this boss was something that i sort of contributed i just gave him some money and gave him an idea and boom we have this snowmonger it used to be a snowman inside but now it's the penguin because you know starbound i believe that's what that's a reference to i don't know maybe they just like penguins but yeah the boss completely overhauled more visually appealing more fair easier to telegraph attacks and stuff like that you like to see that that's what they're doing with a lot of bosses making it so you can actually telegraph and have fun with the fight learn from the fight or else it would just be kind of unfair and boring and also the drops that this boss drops are less broken for the time you get them because apparently they, they were a little strong for early hard mode so yeah let's go ahead and kill it this boss does spawn during the frost legion by the way but yeah there you go there's my history with the boss there's the overhaul of the boss on to the next stuff 
All right, so let's move on to like some world change stuff, some biome, mini biomes, point of interest type of things. And those are some of my favorite things in video games is when there's a lot of points of interest, a lot of like abandoned buildings, a lot of just things that showed that there was history in the world. I like doing this in Minecraft where I add in a bunch of mods that have like either dungeon generation or building generation, just so, you know, there's history in the world, there's stuff to explore. So when that happens in Terraria, you know I'm more than pleased. So let us start with some of the world changes they have listed uh there's these things called fathomless vases a new underground mini structure that contains a little vase that players can right click to interact with breaking the vases vases yields one of around 20 special effects some are good luck some are bad luck and some are neutral luck they drop black rock a unique item that can be used to craft mystical dice that transport you to other fathomless chests in the world now i believe we can spot these out very easily uh is this it right here yeah this is it right here look at that so they look like this and i believe is this the like special rock they're talking about black rock there you go so this is used to craft the mystical die and it teleports us to other areas like this so i right click it boom i got good luck and that gave me the vision to see all the ores and stuff around me spelunker whatever you want to call it but yeah we had good luck on that one let's go ahead let's spawn that dyson just to see uh, a couple other of them and see if they give us good luck or not boom let's break this one do i just right click on it there oh, yeah, okay oh that one would have been bad but it gave me the obsidian skin so it actually wouldn't have been that bad so i'm assuming the dice breaks after one use yeah it does okay makes sense makes sense boom right click again good luck and then it shows all the platinum around you love to see it so very cool adds in more stuff to the world to explore which i could always get behind so next up here on the world excuse me if you see stuff like this from like calamity i believe yeah this is calamity i have installed and then the juice mod i have installed just excuse that stuff for now but yeah the next thing we're looking for ah here we go is the dark sepulcher sepulcher however you pronounce that word i believe it's sepulcher if i if i'm remembering skyrim you know when you just Join the uh, the Nightingales in Skyrim. I believe they say Sepulchre. I think. I don't know. Did I just say it differently? Uh, who knows? But yeah, let's check this out here. Apparently, it's like a little church underground. And then when you open the chest in these churches, uh, something's supposed to happen. So let's find a chest here. Uh, here we go. We got a chest right here. Let's see what happens. We're safe so far. Something is supposed to happen. Maybe it's because I'm in God mode. I don't know. Let, let's see. I feel like if I take myself out of God mode, I'm going to get assaulted. No, we're good. Maybe I opened the wrong chest. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Here's the statues. So if we open this or attempt to open it, the statues trapped the statues come to life oh look at their name draugr or draugr just like skyrim you love to see it i love skyrim we go ahead and kill them and then it unlocks the chest which did that play a little noise when it unlocked the chest i don't know i think it did a uh, toxic bottle can be placed or thrown I, mean, I threw it but yeah this is really dope i like this a lot can't wait to do a playthrough and explore a bunch of these all right next up we have the hyperspace artificial biome which is this thing i've been carrying in my inventory we go ahead and place it and right click on it i believe oh oh yeah we get a little synth wave biome i like it i like it makes me want to build like a town out of gem spark you know get some uh cyberpunk vibes in here the music is bumping this is really cool I, I like this a lot this is very unique i believe it just has a radius so if we get really far it goes away i'm assuming yeah but why would you want to get away from it come on play that music hey hey all right so next up there's stuff about lanterns so as you can see look we got the lanterns just in just like 1.4 and instead of them being in the background they're in the foreground and it looks really cool if we make it nighttime here as you can see it, it can look really really cool with this which i'm always down for some ambience and stuff that's one of my favorite things about 1.4 but it's kind of like the main thing about 1.4 is the ambience and how the game feels and looks so yeah you can craft these or you can find them uh up here in this like top right area this top right area is really cool looking a little little pagoda area uh they got some cool enemies up here too and some goodies in the chest if you loot it of course what's in here staff of the jade dragon come on i gotta see it new or not i gotta see it oh that's cool but yeah there's a bunch of little other ambient changes and stuff like that all around uh but we're gonna move on to the next main thing here that i want to check out and that is the new enemies so earlier we saw the pokey which if you guys don't know what pokies are they are the things from mario 
the little uh, cactuses from Mario. You know, you break the bottom one, it falls down to the lower one. Uh, I believe in other Mario games, you could like knock them over and ground pound them and stuff like that in the 3D ones. Yeah, very cool. I kind of wish that it looked more like the Mario Pokies than a regular cactus, but I don't know. That might be a little illegal. I'm just kidding. There's like a whole mod about Mario and Yoshi on the mod browser. But yeah, next up, let's check out a couple more of the new enemies. I believe all the ones I'm about to check out here are new. We got this thing, the Sistel. This is terrible. I don't want to ever run into this thing. <laughs> Makes a scary noise when you kill it too. Nice. Uh, there's a chest zombie. No idea what that means. Let's see. Oh, they meant chest as in like he's got a big chest. I don't know. He's kind of carrying a chest too, is he not? This is a this is a beefy zombie right here. Go ahead, kill him, guy. Thank you. Uh, there's three new meteor biome enemies, I believe. Uh, they didn't list the names, at least on the changelog I was given. So I don't know. There's a sea mandrake. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. What in the hell? That thing looks uh, very odd. Maybe it just looks odd because there's no water nearby. Let's put it in some water. Maybe it looks a lot cooler in water. Get in there. I mean, it looks like a sea mandrake. Uh, next up, we got Wrathful Souls. Doesn't look terrifying or anything. Oh, and it even makes terrifying noises. Look at that puts like a target on me this thing makes breathing noises i don't like that i'm gonna kill it maybe i could find them if i go like this spirit mod okay okay this guy looks like a meteor enemy look at him got a flamethrower <laughs> Yeah, he dropped meteorites, so that has to be a meteor enemy. It's getting a little harder to spot them. There's a lot of fish I'm starting to notice. Is it, there's always been fish in this mod. That's really cool, actually. Here we go. Falling asteroid. That has to be one. I don't know. The other one's somewhere in here. All right, next up, we're going to check out the gambler overhaul. Now, the spirit mod has an NPC called the gambler. And guess what you can do with him? Gamble. That's right. Oh, it's a she, too. Yamiko. That's a cool name. Yeah, you buy these chests right here. You gamble. You open them. And you get some goodies. So let us let us see here what we get. Let's Start with a copper chest copper chest right click to open sure why don't i Ooh, it's got a little animation and everything you like to see it let me just zoom in here get this damn slime out of here i'm trying to open chests i'm gambling let me gamble in peace you gotta love that it has an animation like they could have just did nothing and people would have been fine with it but they went that extra step added in a dope animation Ooh, each one has like a different and cooler animation than the last this better give me something cool Okay, it gave me a mystical dice, nice. So apparently some of the chests actually do have some uh, cool drops. Uh, maybe I gotta do a video where I open up a bunch of these, just like the old times, you know what I'm saying? But here, I'll, I'll open uh, a couple of them. We can open a bunch at once, which is very nice. Saves a little bit of time here. And there we go, did we get anything? Funny firework. I do not like how the firework is shaped. Golden caviar, ooh, hot. Where the firework go? I just throw them? Oh, look, they make a little pictures. That's very nice. Oh, Garfield. I don't know what that other picture is. But yeah, there you go. There's the gambler stuff. And next up, probably the last thing we'll cover here is a couple of new items. And then I will leave the rest for you guys to enjoy. Uh, the mod added in a bunch of gem bows, which, okay, I, I'm not going to find by typing in gem. What if I just type in bows? Does that work? We got sapphire bows, ruby bows. There you go. More uses for gems because I always feel like there's never enough uses for gems. Uh, this will help out the archer, even though I think the archer is already a class that has more than enough. Probably one of the best subclasses in the game we got another gem related thing staff of ornaments whoa look at that so i believe wherever you put your cursor is where they go so if i want to hit these bunnies boom got their asses we got this thing obelos summons a rideable ethereal boat for you to sail oh beautiful but yeah that was a majority of the new things added in in this 1.4.2 update you like that the numbers align with vanilla terraria right the fact that their 1.4 update was a giant update and the same as vanilla terraria's 1.4 was a giant update is really cool but yeah like i said lots of more cool things to check out i'll post the like change log on the screen make sure you check it out playthrough of this mod is coming Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just do one. Maybe I'll just do one. But you guys know how I am with playthroughs, so I uh, don't get too attached. But yeah, shout out all the developers that developed this mod. This mod's been one of my favorite mods since the beginning. And, you know, just, just check out the mod. That's all I ask. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.